That's a slant route thrown a little bit high by Eli Manning. Oh, and you can see that left ankle underneath the Charger tackler. And that's the ankle that he injured in the preseason. This one is really serious, though. The bottom has dropped out. The larger concern now for Beckham. Both these teams are trying to win a game. It's been such a huge disappointment first month of the year. They just don't have any players left at that position. And it's puzzling to me that Evan Ingram has still hasn't caught a pass. At 19 coming in. And they still haven't been able to find a way to rely on somebody other than a wide receiver. They've never seen this before though. And Beckham up on his feet. On the cart clutching. That left ankle area. Beckham despondent. Now yeah, there's the physical pain obviously but it's also the mental frustration and disappointment. Now the emotional roller coaster for Beckham. But he has seen his legs move at all since the hit he immediately grabbed for his middle of his back was able to roll over onto his back but his legs really have not moved from that position since he's been on the ground. A lot of concern in five and Smith throws and it's short incomplete. He had Kelsey and yet Brennan Scarlett came in and knocked Smith to the ground so they convert and JJ is now down. So three third downs were converted but now it's a fourth down and Marshall is already out and now watch on the ground. Let's take a look down the field. Travis Kelsey's wide open great move against the cornerback and Jonathan Joseph but it was the pressure by Scarlett that made him flinch on it just a bit. Well the crowd is still I mean JJ Watt is a he's a folk hero here and I think most of you know what he did in the aftermath of the hurricane wound up looking for a couple hundred thousand dollars in donations and wound up picking up almost 37 million. He's a folk hero everywhere in this country mm -hmm. right now. Well eight minutes into the game we've already seen a couple of guys go out. We'll find out about what momentarily. Watch his knee here as he tries to turn the corner. Look like he tripped over his leg there and got in a bad position. He's on his feet. And you are trying to find out what happened to him. Right? Ooh, yeah. It looks like he hit him like trying to. Julian Allen has such violent cuts, and you see that's, that's where he got his knee right there, just trying to cut. to his right flag is down and Wentz in for the touchdown but a flag thrown and we'll see if it's coming back holding offense number 65 to 10 yard penalty still first down boy Carson Wentz got hit hard at the end of that play and it's a hold against Philadelphia to bring it back and it's on Lane Johnson out there at right tackle and they're trying to get the ball to Nelson Aguilar. Once again, there's there's the hit, and I think for the most part he does a pretty good job of protecting himself. But when you start getting hit, well, the passing situation, third and eleven, got chipped by the tight end that time, and the pass complete to John Brown and Richard Sherman is shaken up for Seattle after the first down catch at the 34-yard line. First down, the concerns for Sherman. 
Sherman had some concerns about his Achilles coming into this game. Can't tell. He's almost. Manning pulled the trigger. Timing route. Down the sideline. Left hand. Outstanding grab and an injury at the end of the catch. Tan, but officials rule they came down out of bounds. Ruled incomplete. One foot. They get the toe down on that right foot. Well, he controls the ball right here. Brother, let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire.